would you say that that time of your life when you were going through the mental and you said the physical stress of that relationship or that time, would you say that you kind of lost yourself somewhere along the way there a little bit? Yes, absolutely. Because I was so outwardly focused. I was so mm -hmm. outwardly focused on changing him. And so I wasn't really noticing what my, my brain was trying to keep me in a comfortable and familiar situation. Like my therapist mm -hmm. would say, you're comfortably miserable. Right. Comfortably miserable. I like that. <laughs> but I read that book, The Body Keeps the Score. And so mm -hmm. my body was acting out and was uh, with all the trauma. Like I was getting migraines. I was getting UTIs. Wow. I was having panic attacks. I had kidney stones. I had the worst bladder wow. infections in the entire world where I'd have to go to the emergency room. It was wow. Awful. And um, I would drive myself to the emergency room because he, I wouldn't let him drive me because our energy was so bad that I Whoa. didn't have him in the car with me. And so I literally drove myself to the emergency room with the kidney stone because wow. that was better than having him in the car with me. Like that's how Jesus. bad it was. Can I, can I ask you a personal question? It's going to be pretty personal. It's regarding, I'm letting you know what is regarding. It's going to be regarding sex. So you can tell me if, if I can or can't, or we can just dodge this question as it comes up. But I have heard of, and I've worked with people like primarily women. Women tend to have more UTIs than men naturally. And they ha I think they have like a more sensitive um, body, especially around that part because they have to give birth and everything, all of those important things that come from there. But I also noticed that women are way more sensitive to sexual reception than men are. And so if a man is sleeping with someone that, you know, they're not fully in connection with or whatever, because men are not as in tune with their feminine side as women are, they don't see as much of like a bodily rejection. But when women sleep with men who they're not feeling comfortable with, or they're not feeling happy or connected with, or who are not good for them, their body shows up, like it shows up in their body, primarily with the part of the body that's engaged, right? Mm -hmm. And that's like, you know, our, our reproductive organs. And so they set, they uh, see or find a lot of UTIs, discharge, et cetera. Like, I don't know. I, I mean, this may be a personal question, but I think people can really learn from that. Did yeah. you experience that? Was that, are these two things true for you? Yeah, no, I mean, I definitely was not wanting to engage in sexual <laughs> relations <laughs> with, with him at the end of our relationship for sure. Or when we would, yeah. Because we still did, you know, maybe like once a week. And when right. we would, I would almost like disassociate. Like I would, mm. we would never kiss during sex. I would turn my right. head and close my eyes, wow. just sort of pretend right. it wasn't him that was doing that. And, and it right. was, I didn't like that. And uh, it, was, it didn't feel good. And I, I, my body didn't like it either. And I think it mm. did come out with me getting the UTIs. Absolutely. Yeah. Because if you're not paying attention to it, like you're dissociating, your body has to let you know some way that like it's not happy where it is, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not yeah. liking it because the mind is trying to block out what's going on. Yes. But the body can't forget because it's experiencing it. That's why the body keeps the score. And I think that that's actually literally what happens in that moment is when the body is trying to reject something that you're not paying attention to. You know, this is a really good, like this, this leads to the same thing about controlling, right? Yeah where we're not making the conscious effort to change our situation. And so our subconscious is coming out in terms of us controlling the situation. Oh, that's so that's true. Because, it, because I had the UTI, I wouldn't be able to have sex. And so right. you know, like that's, I never thought of that before. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That's how intelligent your body is. Yeah. That's amazing. It's amazing. Wow. Well, you know what? Thank you for even sharing that really and for answering my question as awkward as it may have made you <laughs> squirm in your seat just wow. a little bit. <laughs> as it's you, I feel comfortable talking to you. <laughs>